Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. The tie-dye trend is all over the internet at the moment and I don't blame you because I love it as well. It's a great way to refresh or reuse your old clothes. Also you create a unique pattern so you know that no one else is gonna have the same t-shirt on. I know you can buy the fabric dyes online for not a lot of money, but I decided to take a step further and make my own natural dyes. So I'm gonna dye three of my white t-shirts using tea, avocado and red cabbage. You might be really surprised what colors I achieved using these ingredients. So let's find some old white t-shirt you want to refresh the look of and let's start this tutorial. For this project you need big fruit, white vinegar, salt, black tea, white t-shirt, bowl and some elastic bands. First, fill your bowl with water and vinegar. Use one part of vinegar to five parts of water. Place your shirt in the bowl and make sure it's fully covered with water. Leave it on the side and let it soak for about half an hour. Now fill one third of your pot with water and boil it. Then add a third cup of salt and stir it to dissolve the salt. Start adding your tea bags. I've used about 40 tea bags. I wanted my water to become very dark. You can always put less tea or even more. You just have to decide how dark you want your t-shirt to turn out. Leave the pot for about half an hour to cool down. Now take your shirt out of the bowl with water and vinegar, squeeze it well to get rid of the excess water, but leave the fabric damp. Now start tie your shirt the way you want it. There is endless way to do it and each time you get a different result. Now secure it using elastic bands. Remove your tea bags from the pot. To not waste all of the tea leaves from the tea bag. I've removed them and use as a fertilizer for my plants. After removing all tea bags from the pot, place your t-shirt inside and leave it on the side and let it soak for about an hour. Once you are happy with the color, remove t-shirt from the pot and move it to the sink. Using cold water, rinse your shirt. You can see that the color is getting slightly lighter. I wanted to make sure that the color will stay longer on the shirt, so I put again some water with vinegar over it. 
Remove elastic bands and tie-dye shirt is ready. I'm really happy with the result. The color is not too dark or not too light. For this time, I filled one fourth of my pot with water and added seeds and skins from four avocados. Put your pot over the heat and boil for about two hours. Like with the previous project, soak your shirt in a mix of water and vinegar for about half an hour. Tie your t-shirt. This time, fabric will go to boiling water, so I'm using cotton string to secure it. Now place your shirt inside the pot with water and boil it for another hour. After that time, I removed the pot from the heat. I wasn't very happy with the color. So I will let the shirt soak in that water over the night. Next day I rinse the shirt with cold water and left it to dry. The result is not as dark as I want it to be, so I recommend you to use bigger amount of avocado in this project. For this recipe, I'm using one red cabbage. Chop your cabbage, place it in the pot and cover with water. Now put your pot over the heat and boil it for at least an hour. Take your dunk shirt and tie. This time use only water, don't use vinegar. Once your dye is ready, add a spoon of baking soda. I won't achieve pH 10, which will change the color of the cabbage water to blue. 
there is a chart showing you what other ingredients you can add to water to change its color. I think it's quite fascinating how many different colors you can achieve with the same cabbage. Place your chart in the liquid and leave for at least an hour. Rinse it with cold water and let it dry. Because the shirt I've used wasn't 100% cotton, you can see that color doesn't stay on it very well. So I've repeated the process with cotton shirt and the result is much better. Let me know in the comments down below which design or color is your favorite one. I really like them all. Maybe the one with avocado could be a bit darker, but even like that, it looks good. I don't really wear very bright colors anyway, so I knew if I use natural ingredients, the result would be more minimalistic and in my style. Also remember that natural dyes are not as strong as the synthetic ones, so the color might a bit fade after each wash, but just play around with the ingredients, add something extra or soak it for longer. And also remember to always use 100% cotton fabric. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe the channel so you won't miss any of my future projects. Thank you for watching and see you next time.